old hands with any form of synthesis will be aware of exactly what modulation is. For those of you that don't, it is basically the ability of a sound's parameter or parameters to change over time. This particular change may be cyclic in nature or something that is more controlled. Within Sakura, there are eight modulators, and these can be found in this section here. Each modulator can have a source and destination. The destination is the parameter that you want to have affected by the modulator. The various choices for the destination can be found in this drop-down menu. Two of the most common modulator setups are already in place here. The second of these is using the pitch bend wheel on a controller keyboard to alter the value of the pitch. This is what a particular modulation sounds like when you use a pitch bend wheel. It sounds very much like the effect you get when you bend the string of a guitar or bass. The amount of modulation that is applied is controlled by the knob that you can find in the center of each modulator. If I set this to half, for example, we now get a sound that produces less of a pitch bend than the change we got just a few moments ago. The other control on each of the modulators is a polarity switch and this allows you to change the phase of the modulator. So by switching in this case, and doing the same pitch we did before, this time it sounds like we started off with a note bent up, and then lowered it back down into pitch. The same holds true when we use other modulation sources. There are a number of other sources available to you, and they each have their uses. The first in the list is an envelope. We already have experience with this within Sakura, when we looked at the volume envelope in the string interaction section. The ADSR envelope works in the same way. Except for being used to change the volume, it can be used to change something else. The target for this can be changed by selecting something else from the drop-down menu. The low frequency oscillator is a very common source of modulation, and perhaps the best way to demonstrate this is to have it apply itself on the pan position of the sound. If you use it this way, you are effectively creating an auto panner that moves the sound from left to right and back again in a cyclic manner. Of course, it can do much more than just pan the sound around the stereo field. In fact, there is so much that you can do with the modulation that it is worthwhile dedicating an entire chapter to go over just a selection of examples of not just how you can apply one modulator, but how you can go about having them interact with each other to produce desired results. Even then, we'll only just be scratching the surface of the possible interactions that you can set up.